Okay, I guess time for another video game theory sort of video. I'm going to give an example of just how popular Street Fighter 2 is, or was, when I was a kid. And I want to come at this from a different angle, something I've sort of talked about before. Why making games easier has never made fighting games more popular. And why it never will be. And you should just accept that, right? It is what it is. So, Street Fighter 2, which I'm sadly old enough maybe to remember. I mean, people forget just how big of a cultural phenomenon Street Fighter 2 was, right? Um, if you go by inflation, apparently Street Fighter 2 was actually the third biggest video game of all time. That's fucking insane, right? You know, here's an example. Here's a, here's a, like a little side story. You know, a lot of times when people that they don't remember these days, like they hear like, oh yeah, I heard about arcades and like, you know, like arcades were filled and everything like that. Not only were arcades filled, I remember when I was a kid, dude, do you remember when Street Fighter 2 came out on Super Nintendo, right? You could go to the mall, right, and say like a Sears or a JCPenney or something like that. And uh, I don't think they do it anymore, but not, man, if there's even malls anymore, it's so hard to find malls nowadays, right? But when Street Fighter 2 came out on Super Nintendo, and you know, they'd have like the game out on display, right? There used to be lines of people to play Street Fighter 2 at Sears, at JCPenney, just on the Super Nintendo, dude. Like, lines going, like, from the video game aisle to, like, the clothes aisle, dude. Just, like, kids all playing Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo, like, oh, we want to play this one. It, it wasn't even just arcades, dude. Street Fighter 2 was just so ridiculously popular. You could ask your grandma, like, hey, take me to Sears or JCPenney if you're ever going to go because I'm just going to play Street Fighter 2 because there's going to be a line of people playing on the Super Nintendo, dude. Crazy, right? So what I want to try to get at, though, is that that's never going to happen again. You're never going to get any more casual fans to care about fighting games. Look how big is that. You're trying to get your say. Do you think by making a game easier, you're ever going to get to the point of Street Fighter 2, which is apparently, again, if you go by inflation, the third most best-selling video game of all time? No. And also, because Street Fighter 2 is so popular, because video games have been going on for so many years now, it has already established what a fighting game is. Okay? Some people like sports games. Some people like fighting games. Some people like RPGs. Some people like hentais. Maybe they just want to jack off to things, right? <laughs> it is what it is. People already know what fighting games are. You're not going to get someone that just wants to jack off to a hentai game and doesn't care about fighting games. You're not going to be able to go like, oh, hey, dude, I, I see you jacking off over there, but look, we got a new fighting game. And he's like, oh, oh, oh shit, really? Oh, fuck, there's auto combos in it? Well, fuck, I was never going to play a fighting game before, but now that you put auto combos in it, Sign me up, dude. Let me wash my hands off here. Ah, oh, dude, let me put down this NFL game I'm playing. I totally want to play a fighting game now. It's not going to happen. The casual video game player doesn't care. Like, there's a difference between a casual fighting game player, maybe. Like, there, I think the idea should be that trying to get a casual video, uh, fighting game player in your fighting game is possible. But the casual video game player does not care, dude. It does, nothing you are going to do is going to make them buy the fucking game, dude. If they don't like fighting games, they don't fucking care. You see me playing Madden games? You see me playing Call of Duty? I don't give a fuck about those games. There's nothing you're going to be able to do. You could put Ryu, put Ryu in it, dude, right? Maybe he throws a fireball instead of shooting a machine gun. I don't fucking care, dude, because I don't like those kind of games. Nothing you can do to the casual gamer is going to make them play a game that they don't like. If they don't like these kind of games, it's over, dude. And the idea that you could ever get it as popular Street Fighter 2, there's a bit of luck to that, right? There's a bit of luck in life, right? You know what I mean? Like, wow, just like, what a time to be alive. You know what I mean? Just Street Fighter 2 took the world by storm, right? There's a bit of luck to that, right? You know what I mean? Hit at the right time, you know what I mean? But again, it what a fighting game is already so established in our mind, just like what a Mega Man game, what have any kind of game. These are what these games are. You're not going to get any more people to play these games than you had at one time already. We already know what these kind of games are, right? 
So now you get into like, what is like a cat? Let's get into more like, what is a casual game or what is a casual fighting game player, right? I've used this, this an example for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Say like, making Dragon Ball Fighter Z easier doesn't matter because it's actually a really it's a drop ball. It's it's a sadly missed opportunity because you could have made again. People were going to play Dragon Ball Fighter Z. You were going to get that casual Dragon Ball Z fan to buy the game no matter what because it's a Dragon Ball Z game. It doesn't matter that they added auto combos. It doesn't matter that maybe they added this blah, blah, blah. They were going to play it because it's a Dragon Ball Z game. No one fucking cares, dude. Do you think that... How many... Okay, I don't know how many how much Dragon Ball Fighter Z sold, but I would ask you to like... I would like encourage you to ask... If they could do like a survey, how many of you guys will play this Dragon Ball Fighter Z game if we had auto combos? If we make it a simpler game, if we do this or whatever, you know what? Most people don't fucking care because that kind of casual gamer is going to buy it because it's a Dragon Ball Z game. How many fucking shit ass Dragon Ball Z games were, you know, people have already bought? Those so many shitty Super Nintendo games, Ultimate Battle 22, fuck my butthole, whatever the fuck it's called, right? People bought it because it's a Dragon Ball Z game. They don't fucking care. Just like there's a lot of fighting game players who probably don't care about Dragon Ball Z, but they bought it because it's a fighting game. It's the new game, right? So think about, like, I've used this as an example. Think about me when I say that I'm a casual gamer. And people think that I say that as a, as like, I'm talking shit. Like, oh, you were able to win tournaments, and you think you're so awesome because you didn't practice all the time, or... Oh, you found all these things in countless video games, blah, blah, even though you don't really care. It's like, well, that's just because I'm shit, first of all. But on some level, it is because I'm a casual gamer because I wasn't even going to get Dragon Balls yet. I got it just because, like, you know, I kind of like fighting games, and it's a Dragon Ball Z game. I wasn't really thinking, like, oh, it's, you know, going to be easy or it's necessarily going to be hard per se. I was hoping it would be hard. You know what I mean? But the main reason I got Dragon Ball Fire Z is because... The nerd in me, the casual gamer, is like, oh, Vegito, maybe I can kick things. I wasn't thinking about auto combos or anything like that. And, of course, I wanted to prove everyone wrong, which I did, of course, with everything that was going to be in the game. Right? But So what I'm trying to get at there is, like, there's going to be some people that are going to buy your game no matter what because it's this type of game. It's this game. You're not going to – no one gives a fuck – if you're like, oh, hey, we're trying to sell this guy who doesn't like these games whatsoever, right? Hey, man, we added auto comments to it. You're going to buy it. He's probably like, no, dude, I, I actually, dude, I really, I don't like those kind of games, dude. It's okay, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, n n this this analogy or this, this thought that making games easier will make people play games is false because no one cares. No one actually cares it's going to buy the game. They're going to buy the game most likely regardless because it's either a fighting game and their friends are playing it, something to do, or maybe you got that off chance that it's a Dragon Ball Z. It's an IP that they enjoy. They don't care. It's like, oh, this game is super hard. It's whatever, dude. That shit doesn't actually matter. And it actually is better for the game to be harder and have more stuff in it because think about it like this. Again, you think about Street Fighter 2. Why was Street Fighter 2 so popular? Because it was brand new. And there are always things to discover, right? New strategies. Like, oh, man, 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 remember when doing special moves was hard before? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, whoa. I, I still remember being a kid. Like, whoa, how the fuck am I going to do? Like, double suit, double motion air fireball. I remember the first time Street Fighter Alpha came out. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, damn. Like, you see Akuma's, like, uh, super fireball in that game. And all this kind of stuff. Like, whoa, that is a hard motion. But you had to learn it. But I went off on a tangent. You know, there are always new things being discovered. And when the games are so easy, you don't have that same idea that, um, I'm sure I explained this, like, there's that, the more, say, advanced, maybe the more advanced, the person is more, how should I say this? The casual person that buys a video game, still bought the video game, obviously. Just like the more player that is more, um, devoted to the game, maybe they still bought the game. Maybe one of them is going to be playing it longer, right? Do you know what I mean? And most likely you can play it longer when the game is complicated because there's more things for you to find as the player, right? 
And that is a way that you can actually get people a more of a casual person to play the thing. Because when you think about Street Fighter 2, you might be like, oh, hey, well, why are so many people continuously playing this game? Like, you view the people like, wow, what? It's like, well, dude, I keep finding new shit, man. Like, I'm finally doing this motion, this combo I couldn't do. Like, I mean, geez, you know, people complain about such easy shit nowadays, right? You know, they would not have survived during the Street Fighter 2 days, but... You know, it's like, wow, you might just like, wow, what are you playing? Like, oh, it's like, oh, you keep finding new things. So think about that casual audience. You know what I mean? And they're like, hey, like maybe there, maybe there is that, those few casual fans, right, that are like, oh, hey, um, are you still playing that Dragon Ball Z game? And like, I know there's just nothing new to it. We're never finding anything new. And maybe that was the one chance to make that casual person actually get interested because they're be like, Oh yeah, he's done. It's like yeah, it's like, it's like that's a fighting game. Like who cares? There's nothing new. But when you have like complicated shit, that is actually the off chance that you might get that casual person because they're like, wow, my friend is still playing this game after all this time. He keeps finding all this new shit. He's like, maybe I should try this. There must be something else to this game, right? That's why making games easier has never made people play games because it's already too established what a fighting game is. So generally speaking, if you don't like a fighting game, you're not going to fucking play it. You're not going to buy it. You know what I mean? So the only... And again, to get something as popular as Street Fighter 2 is just, you know, that's just a pipe dream, right? So the, the best way to make video games is to actually make games complicated. To, the, to throw the kitchen sink at it, to put as much shit into it, to make it complicated, because then you have... The people that like fighting games. It's already established who likes fighting games, right? And when you see your friend playing a fighting game and they keep going back at it, you're like, wow, man, there must be this, there must be something to this one. They keep playing this thing. Just like think about Street Fighter 2. There's so many of the other these other games. Street Fighter 2 is so popular. And you're like, why do they keep playing Street Fighter 2? There must be something to Street Fighter 2 that is setting it apart. Right? Why, like, why do they keep playing that one? Why don't they play these other ones as much, right? And again, there's a bit of luck to it, right? But, you know, because Street Fighter 2 had more shit to it, right? You know, people think Street Fighter 2 is, like, simple, but there's actually, you know, a bit of common... You know, it's simple maybe on a surface level compared to maybe some games nowadays, but some games are very, you know, easy, maybe from a... You know, they look complicated from the outside, but some fighting games are actually nowadays are actually quite easy on the other hand, right? So those are the like kind of like casual people that you can get back into games, right? People that just casually enjoy already the idea of a fighting game. But the casual person who does not care about fighting games, they aren't going to play it anyway. There's nothing you can do because they don't like fighting games. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, so that's why it's better for games to be complicated. Because the other, the casual fighting game fan will actually see that more people are playing. I'm like, wow, there must be actually something to this one. If it's just easy, people don't actually care, right? Do you get what I'm saying? Because the person that doesn't like fighting games, I've said it like 15 times, they're just not going to play a fighting game. Unless it's something like Dragon Ball Z had, had a good opportunity, right? Because it's an IP, so there's going to be a lot of people that are going to play it no matter what. They don't care. These people that are jacking off the bonus picks, they, I don't think they really cared because they never expected to win a tournament in the first place. And that's something I've said before. Most people, you should never expect to be winning tournaments because most people aren't good at video games in the first place, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I hope you get what I'm saying, right? Do you get what I'm saying? I said the same thing over. That's what I'm trying to get. Street Fighter 2, you know. You, don't worry about making games as popular as Street Fighter 2. Actually, wait, did I go back one second? Because it will never be that popular again. There's a bit of luck to that. And everything they've tried to do to make fighting games that popular again, it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't actually appeal to anyone. I I, I think I think people don't I mean, I'm sure there's someone that it appeals to, but look at the sales of video games, right? I, I'm ranting too long. Hopefully you get the point that I'm trying to make here though. Anyway, I gotta eat some dinner. I'm hungry.